In the last video, we have seen how to add a grid block. Now, we will integrate the searching with the grid block. So in this video, I will show how easily you can create a search block. From the add block, select the search option. You can edit the column width from the settings in search panel. Now, since I need grid block, say for an example, I will select 9 column. Now, a grid block is created and at the bottom, I have it options to change the grid layout, block orientation and template settings. After saving, here is our search block. So basically this is a grid block and this is the search block. When I will filter anything on the search block then the corresponding result will shown in the grid block. Now let's add a block on the search option. For example, we take a combo box. It will work based on the category, subcategory, parent-child relation. So we have added a block. Now we have to set the data and its orientation. This combo box will only work with taxonomy. Only for the parent-child relation, this combo box has been created. Now the product category can be a good example. We can change the name in the appearance. We can rename the combo box and its subtitle. We can also add custom CSS class. So now let's see what happens after saving. It has fetched all the corresponding taxonomy of the product category. Now if I select clothing, then all the corresponding data is shown. Here we have got the subcategory because of the combo box. Let's check hoodies. Now we click on the panel, then top bar, then enable the search filter attributes. Now click on toggle. If you enable the toggle, we can show hide the categories. When you have a long list of searching field sidebar options, then toggle is beneficiary for you. And now the most important thing is our URL works and changes fully based on the searching field. That means if you copy and paste it somewhere else, you will get the same result. So let's check. And yes, it works. Thanks for watching.